Update 2 on Cyclone Marcia, which is an intensifying tropical storm now with winds of 60 miles per hour and a pressure of 985 millibars. Its position 19.9 degrees south, 152.0 degrees east as of 3am UTC, February the 19th. So what does that mean for the coast of Queensland? It means a hurricane force landfall is now likely due to its recent intensification. We could see winds of over 75 miles per hour sustained uh, in the area between Yapoon and Rockhampton and St. Lawrence. Uh, that area, that chunk of land uh, may see uh, hurricane force conditions category two uh, on the Australian scale, category one on the Sapphire Simpson hurricane wind scale. The storms expected to then move inland, curving inwards as a tropical storm likely to maintain that intensity for around a day or so after it moves inland and then eventually move out to sea near Brisbane. Uh, cyclone warnings in effect from Mackay to Double Island Point and cyclone watch in effect for inland areas uh, including the town of Ganda. Uh, so we could see of course along with the gusty winds a storm surge and possibly heavy rainfall as well that the storm will be moving in through fast uh, so storm surge I think will be the main threat from the storm as well as its strong winds. Uh, of course 75 miles per hour is likely, gusts will of course be higher. Looking at the sea surface temperatures, you can see the storm on the right hand side of your image here, marked with the green TS icon, um, over warm waters at this time, around 28 degrees Celsius, that means further intensification is on the cards. Uh, same too for the wind shear conducive environment, as you can see on this map, uh, indicated by the tropical storm icon on your right. Um, decreasing amounts of wind shear in between its current location and landfall, likely landfall location. And in terms of water vapour, a very moist environment around the storm too, meaning that dry air intrusion will not be a factor in the storm's weakening. And it does mean really uh, that the storm has an open door to intensification all the way up until it makes landfall. And here's the latest satellite image. You can see the speed that it's been travelling in the past few hours. Maybe not quite as fast as it was in the previous 12 hours, but still moving at a fair rate of knots towards the Australian coast, which you can just about see outlined in pink, um, headed towards the area in between St. Lawrence and Yapoon. Um, and it's likely to make landfall there as a Category 1 storm on the Sapphire Simpson Hurricane Scale, Category 2 on the Australian scale. Either way, you can see the central core of the storm as well. It looks like the northern half is the strongest, so areas north of that as far as Mackay may also see uh, strong uh, effects, adverse effects from this storm. As of February the 19th at 3am UTC, there is nothing else really going on around the world apart from, as we know, Cyclone Lamb. Uh, two invests in the South Indian Ocean not likely to develop. Uh, this storm, Marcia, was the 11th to form in 2015 worldwide. Of course, we're only in February. Six of those have become Category 1 cyclones. This may well become the 7th. Uh, that's of course on the Sapphire Simpson scale. I need to repeat that because of course the Australian scale is much different. Uh, and three of those have become Category 3 storms with winds of 115 miles per hour and higher. You can follow Force 13 on any of its outlets. Of course you may be interested in doing that, especially for interests in Australia. The website force13.com is the main place to be for all the goings on around the world. Of course the video pages, uh, YouTube and of course the social platforms. Facebook and Twitter, search Force 13 on there for all the latest updates at Force 13 on Twitter and you can speak to me personally as well at Full 13 on Skype for Tropical Weather Chat on there. You can also ask for an invite to the Force 13 chat room on Skype uh, where you can discuss the current tropical situation and many other things uh, with fellow storm trackers. That's all for now. The next update on this storm will follow at 3pm UTC on, January the on February the 19th.